guys, I'm Becky from Talk Becky Talk and I'm joined by the gorgeous Hannah, a pro artist from Bobby Brown. I am so excited. Today we are putting to the test the new Intensive Skin Serum Foundation SPF 40. You I nailed it. it. You nailed it. Bam. <laughs> um, this is actually launching exclusively in John Lewis from the 9th of March and you can come and meet me and Hannah as well at the Oxford Street John Lewis the week of the 9th of March. I'm going to be announcing on social media what day come down get color match you're going to get a week's supply of this how excited are you? i'm so excited can't wait so let's do the tutorial so we're going to go through the secret to perfect skin lesson let's start with prepping your skin i need a bit of prep <laughs> dry skin <laughs> well i'm starting with some extra serum so this is a serum you're going to use in conjunction with the foundation it's jam-packed full of vitamins and antioxidants etc but some hydration too i bet that feels great doesn't it it feels so it smells <laughs> nice as well that is what i need first thing in the morning when my skin is really not good at all Oh, it's great, especially when you just get out of the shower. Mm, mm, that's really nice. Great, and before we do anything else, I'm gonna do a little bit of lip balm. You know how some lip balms are really waxy, so yeah, they protect the skin, but they don't kind of moisturize, mm. and others are so moisturizing that they hydrate but don't protect. This is a great mixture. A little bit of eye cream. Okay. Just to ensure the eyes are super hydrated, ready for makeup. Everybody raves cream. about this eye cream. It's so hydrating, but it's not sticky. So it gives your under eye area like the perfect drink it needs. So this is a fantastic day cream, but it's also a makeup primer. Really? Yeah. So it's going to get your skin ready for makeup as well as hydrating. I love it because my skin's dehydrated but can get a bit oily. That's exactly the same as mine. Is it? Yeah. And um, I get breakouts but then I get really dry patches. Okay. Annoying. So <laughs> it's hydrating enough for those areas but not so full of oil that it causes like the normal or slightly oily mm. areas to get really shiny. Although we've just done your primers, your skin already looks so much brighter and healthier. It's just an instant. Some days I like going out up. with just that and then nothing. Yeah, those are these. such liberating mm. days, aren't they? So we're going to move on to one of your favourite products, and that is the corrector. Yeah. So this is just going to ensure that your under eye area is really nice and bright. I am obsessed with this. I'm on my fifth pot already. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I think your choice of light to medium bisque is brilliant. That soft pinky colour mm. just cuts through any of that shadow under the eye. But I'm actually going to layer a concealer on top, and I know you're not doing that at the moment. Oh. I'm open to suggestion. Okay. <laughs> we'll just use our ring finger to work it into the skin. And then we're going to go over the top of that. Is this the concealer? Yeah. So this takes what is now a nice even canvas. It makes its skin tone correct. So this is more of a yellowy tone. Let me do the other side. It's not cakey either. That's why I like that one. It's not too thick and it doesn't crease up. Well, Bobby developed it to be creamy for that very reason because it's to be used under the eye but it's excellent because it means that it keeps the slightly finer skin under the eyes yeah. hydrated. So yeah, using a brush to apply this first kind of gives you that really general application but then actually it's the warmth of your fingers that helps melt the product into the skin. So this is the beautiful packaging. The moment of truth. For this serum. I know all will be revealed. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh wow! Oh, it's like, is that a Can you hold it? Yeah. That's so amazing. I pop it in my hand. So here you've got like the best hybrid of not just makeup but also skincare benefit. And it's exciting because it's the very first foundation outside of China to contain cordyceps mushrooms, which have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for years for their unique ability to kind of recreate energy. What we're loving about this is it really does help boost energy in the skin. And so, what kind of coverage, if someone's looking for it, what's this going to give someone? I'd say it's a moderate coverage. So you can really shear it out, but I'd say kind of a normal application. So one drip of the pipette will give you a really pretty moderate coverage. And because, yeah, because it's yellow based, dust helps to tone down I get, any high colour in the skin. I get really bad redness at the moment. Okay. So in my cheeks and um, I'm guessing quite a lot of red. Mm -hmm. So well, you'd never know. This will help, hopefully. <laughs> and now, all importantly, I'm just going to use my hands okay. just to help melt the makeup into the skin. Just cupping your face. Top tip. With your hands. There you go. We'll just take that edge off. And that doesn't pull it off. That literally pushes it. Well, it pushes it in. It may take off a little bit of the excess, but actually that's okay. Yeah. And this has SPF 
40. 40. Yeah, how amazing is that? Amazing. It's a really finely milled, really refined SPF. So you what, don't get that like sticky chalky feeling. And what about people that ask about flashbacks? A lot of people always say to me, will you get flashback with an SPF? Is it because it's quite not really thick that you won't, you won't yeah. get that with it? Yeah, so because it's so fine, the flashback should be either non-existent or absolutely minimal. Now the foundation's on, let's just set the makeup. I don't want to use too much I'm powder. a powder girl. I powder Are you? Up. Because okay. I find that it's sometimes makeup slips off me, but also I get such bad shine on my T-zone. Okay. So after two hours, I'm shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that rhymed with shiny, but <laughs> I'm just really shiny. Oh, there is that thing, is there? <laughs> shiny, rhymy, shiny, shiny. I don't know, I'm just feeling really shiny. <laughs> so your skin's looking marvellous. Perfect. But let's just make sure there's a bit of colour. Okay. So we'll start by warming up the skin tone. I do bit. get very pale bronzer. and this is my big problem. I want colour but not something that makes me look like Overdone. I've been sunburned or something. Right. Yeah. So I'm using the Golden Light Bronzer, which is completely matte, which is great. So it's a really yeah. natural bit of colour, but also it's a slightly golden undertone. So rather than adding a cinnamony based bronzer yeah. that would make you look more red, we're going to actually just emphasise the golden tones naturally okay. there in your skin. So I'll start with your neck. I'll just warm up under the chin, behind the ears. Where do you put the bronzer? Where do I put the bronzer? Yeah. Simply where the sun would naturally hit. Okay. So you have great high cheekbones. So obviously we're taking it over the top of your cheekbone and blending back towards your hair. Then pulling a bit down the side of the face and then warming the top of your forehead again because that's where yeah. the sun would naturally hit first. So not a huge amount, but just dusting it back into the hairline. What brush is that? It's really nice. Oh, it's lovely. It's the, it's the bronzer brush. It's a flat headed brush that the edges are slightly tapered and she designed it like this so that your bronzer is really evenly diffused and dispersed throughout the face. So yeah, it's lovely and it's so soft, isn't it? Mm. A tiny touch of pot rouge in okay. pale pink. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's quite a bluey pink, yeah. but it gives just the freshest of flushes. So just smile for me. I'll just pop it on the apple of your cheek. What's great with this technique is you get the warmth of the bronzer kind of through the edges mm. of the face. So then you're reserving that real flush of pink for the apple of the cheek. So again, just where you would naturally flush. And then we'll complement those pretty cheeks with a little bit of our brand new mm. brightening blush. Now this is the tawny colourway. Literally, and I'm obsessed with that already. So, <laughs> I know you love shimmer brick already. Yeah. This is kind of a hybrid of both shimmer brick, brightening finishing powder, and blush all in one. Amazing. So the you, sparkle in it. I mean, anything gorgeous. with sparkles, that's it. Oh my gosh. Hello. You're going after my own heart. So we're just going to blend a little bit of this over your blusher just to give your skin a really gentle glow, that little bit of an extra luster let's say. I love wearing these in the summer when I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup I literally put the shimmer bricks on just yeah. like concealer and shimmer brick and yeah. that's all I wear and it's so nice they're so pretty like the sunlight when they hit them. So let's do a little bit of work on the eye. So I'm just going to start by brushing up the brows just so I can see the natural Is that the shape. angled? It's, it's the brow brush. The bristle is actually really firm and that's great because it places product where you want it rather yeah. than being soft and kind of fluffing pigment where you don't want it. And I'm literally just going to brush a little bit of a soft grey behind the hairs so your brows just look that little bit fuller. And actually I'm going to add a tiny bit of a wheat which is more of a blonde colour just through the tail of the brow so it's not too strong. So grey mimics the natural tone of the brow and then the wheat just gives a little bit of the blonde hue yeah. mirroring your hair. And let's set that with a little bit of a clear gel. They're so great for on the go. We do them in colour as well so they're great brow and hair touch-ups. I've made your brows quite like Fluffy, I love it. That's like okay. one fluffy brows. Yay, well you've got it. That's the dream. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use the golden pink long wear cream shadow stick. Again, great makeup for on the go. You simply sweep over the lid and you can be like basic with this application and then just use your ring finger to buff it out. And this golden pink will be great against 
beautiful blue of your eyes. I'm so a neutral girl. Like I love it. neutral though. That's why I love like Bobby's range because everything's so nice. And for me, it's just like I could always find eye colors and eyeshadows yeah. that suit me. And you can get a little bit of color, but the neutrals are so good. I'm using the graphite shimmer, which is a really nice dark, dark, dark gray. So I'm just getting it on my brush, making sure my brush is nice and flat. And then all along the base of the lashes, we'll just do lots of little strokes until we create a really pretty soft line. And we take that from the inside corner of the eye right to the furthest outside corner. So you emphasize your natural almond shape. I'm gonna use the smoky liner brush just to buff the edge of that slightly. So you get a more diffused finish than a hard line. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the gel okay. and do it underneath the lashes to look up for me. So I always like that golden rule of keeping whatever you're lining on your lower lash line much softer than whatever you do on top, just so that the focus and real definition is on the top lash line so it doesn't look too heavy. And again, I'm gonna use that smoky liner brush just to buff it out so it's really super soft. I find the softer the liner and smudgier on the lower lash line, the better so you don't get, you know, mm. hard, hard lines. Okay, Amazing. and then lashings of my favorite mascara ever. This is the Smoky Eye Mascara. It's, it's a brilliant layerable formula. It's the blackest of blacks and it's gonna look incredible on your lashes. I'm just gonna layer, feel free to blink. Did you curl your eyelashes earlier? No. Oh my goodness, is this a natural curl? Yeah, but I hate my I'm eyelashes. So I wish they were longer. You don't need them any longer, they're beautiful. Have Sorry. you got this on your eyes? Have me, yeah. Because your eyelashes look amazing. Oh, that's really kind. Thanks. I'm just teasing a little bit of mascara on your lower lashes. Amazing. And that's just a little bit of the pot rouge on your lips. So there, it's pigment for cheeks and lips. So oh, again, really? Great for time saving or great on the run. You can just dip in, top up your cheek and lip at the same time. I love multi use products. Oh, so do I, and so does Bobby. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> and there, I need to have the perfect skin. I method. need to have the reveal. Oh my god, my skin actually looks flawless. Can you just live here? <laughs> I love to. With the dogs. I love to. Oh my god, my eyebrows as well. This that is amazing. That's re that's really nice. That the that cheek definition. Yeah, it's like just flawless. <laughs> Come live here. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> yes, I do. I literally love it. Look, it's amazing. <laughs> so that is the finished look. I literally, I've been obsessed with Bobby Brown anyway for years. I was so excited about so this. Fun. I literally, <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, yes. I am really excited to meet you guys as well. We're going to put the information below how you can get involved in this London meetup. Come and meet me and Hannah. Of course, there will be lots of chat. As always. As always, but Hannah is actually a pro. So she will show you how to do it and I'll just be excited about it as usual. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget a big thumbs up for me and Hannah and click on that subscribe button as well to I Love Makeup so you're not going to miss any of those fun videos that come up. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I don't have a channel. Click, click below. Click I don't know what it means. Click, but click below. <laughs> Puppy time. A little bit of an added extra for you. Oh, these have made my day. I think I'm in love. The puppies. Penelope and B. <laughs> click the like button if you think we should uh, get them involved. They could do my, they could do your makeup. <laughs> they could do my makeup. <laughs> oh, she loves the bit, she must love it. She's like, lick, <laughs> puppy time. Uh, They've been so good the whole video, so we thought they'd make yeah, a guest thank appearance. You pups. Thank, thank you, you puppies. Pups. Love you. Love you, bee. <laughs> <laughs>